What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, uh, Boogie2988, coming at you live once again through the power of the internet, and I'm home. Uh, a lot of you may have noticed my absence over the past couple of days. I have not been streaming, and I have not uploaded very many videos, and it's because I got very, very sick. And we'll talk about that in great detail, but I, I got home from the hospital last night, and I slept and slept and slept and slept and slept, and... This is the first time I felt like I could get in here in front of the camera and speak coherently. And I wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay, um, that everything's going to be fine, uh, and let you know what had happened. Um, but before I tell you all that, I, first thing I want to say is thank you so much to uh, all the people that, that, that reached out to us and like uh, sent my wife messages on Twitter and messages uh, to me on Twitter and on my subreddit like that was amazing uh, you know because it's real boring to be in the hospital and I was real out of it but you know you're allowed to have your phone and I sit there and read nice comment after nice comment after nice comment and it made it so much easier it made it so much better I I, I, I don't know if you guys know what uh, you bring to my life but in times like that yeah, it means the world so thank you, thank you very much if you're one of those people, and if, you, if you're not and you want to express those, I'm going to read everything you write in the comments. I, I, I am, I, it means the world to me, but uh, yeah, I'm okay, it's not like it's anything really big, um, uh, about a week and a half ago we took a trip to Hot Springs, and traveling can always be risky for me, and uh, so I ended up getting a little bit sick from that, I got a, a slight ear infection, and I got a slight tummy ache uh, that persisted throughout all the week. And then on Saturday, I got um, really bad chills. And uh, I, I, I waited it out to see if it would go away. And after about an hour after that, I got a really, really bad fever. And I started feeling like I was going to pass out. And uh, so we, we actually had people over at my place, and they were all very concerned. Me and my wife made the uh, decision to go ahead and head to the ER. And when we got there, I was in some really rough shape. Um, my heart rate was beating at like 145 beats a minute. I had a fever of 105. And I, I had enough sense to, you know, know to take an aspirin and, and some naproxen to try to keep the fever and everything else down. So I already had stuff in it suppressing me. And uh, we sat in the emergency room for about six hours, and they pumped me full of fluids, and they pumped me full of medications, and they tried to figure out what it was and they never did really figure out what it is they think it's a stomach flu or food poisoning or something to that effect but they're still not entirely sure but they they do know it's some sort of infection they just couldn't find the site um but they decided because my heart rate was so elevated and because uh, uh of my size and because of uh, all of these other things it would be best that i stayed in the hospital and i'm really glad that i did <laughs> because i was really out of it for the next 24 48 hours and, but eventually I got my heart rate under control within 12 hours. Eventually we had um, my mental faculties working the way they're supposed to work again, not too soon after. And, uh, and then we were able to come home after just one day in the hospital. And it, it's not been the same. I, I, if I could stream, if I could be making videos for you, there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, like the Batman PC port. And I want to talk about Destiny's DLC. Like there's a lot of videos I feel like I need to be making. And I really wanted to stream Batman for you guys, but my wife and my doctor both say rest, you got to rest, you know, and not that that's that stressful, you know, I mean, it's the best job in the world, I could have never asked for more, but I, um, I'm, I'm doing what they tell me to do to make sure they recover, um, my wife, though, I, uh, she stayed there with me in the emergency room and in the hospital, and I begged her to go home to get some rest. I beg her to go into work, and she just would not leave my side. And uh, part of me, obviously, like wanted her to be somewhere better and somewhere healthier and somewhere happier, um, but she wasn't having it. And God knows, uh, I was so glad to have her there. Because I've been in the hospital before. It sucks being there alone. I've been in the hospital alone a lot. Not this time. And that was, I, I don't know, silver linings and everything. But I should be riding as rain within the next couple of days. Uh, they have me on some really strong antibiotics. One of them is called Cipro, 
which apparently just destroys your stomach and your stomach lining. And like, this is a great diet plan for me, I guess, because I have not eaten much of anything. Like I've eaten a 10th of the food that I normally would eat. And I don't know how long it'll take for me to recover fully. Uh, I've already lost like six or seven pounds. I'm sure I'm going to lose even more. So there's, I mean, there's silver linings and everything. Uh, but this is the point I know where a lot of people in the comments section start to lecture me. Boogie, you know, you got to lose weight. You got to, yeah, we know. And we'll, we talked about it at great length and we'll talk about that more. Um, but this, I want to take this as an opportunity to tell you something that I have been reminded of this weekend. I know a lot of, I know I have a lot of big fans. I know a lot of you are a couple pounds overweight, maybe a hundred pounds overweight. Some of you two or three, 400 pounds overweight like me. And we talk a lot about the health at any size movement and, and, and all those things. And, you know, it, it, there's some truth to the fact that you can be healthy at any size. Like, there's some real truth to that. If you're 350 pounds right now, you can probably walk a couple miles. And you can probably, you can probably do a lot of things that, that skinnier people can do. And, and that's great. The real risk that, that you put on yourself when you're heavy is when something simple happens, like f f food poisoning or an ear infection, uh, th these, these things can kill you when they're a lot less likely to kill someone who's smaller. That's like, that's the real danger. You know, I, I should have probably threw up a couple times and then went to bed and woke up fine the next day. I didn't. I didn't. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars. And, and, and I spent time away from my work and I spent time away from, from you and, and that's the price I paid for every extra french fry I ever ate and every pie I ever ate. And you no, know, it's a hell of a toll. And one of these days, one of these days, that toll is going to be my life. You got to do better. We both got to do better. We have to do better. I want you to do better. I want to do better for you. You know, I believe in you. I know you can do it. I hope that you do. Let me suffer so you don't have to, you know. Like, learn from my mistakes. I said that a million times. I'll say it a million more. You know? I don't know. I, uh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be alive. Lucky that I pulled through this one. You don't mess around with those kind of numbers. <laughs> Doctors were very mad at me. My wife, very scared. I'm very scared. But we do what you got to do, and uh, I, first time I got sick in about three years, really, like six sick. I mean, first time I've been hospitalized in eight, seven years, so I'm doing something right, and I've just got to do more of it. So don't buy Batman on PC. If you did pre-order it, get that Steam refund, because it apparently does not run very well. Wait to buy it until they get it fixed. 30 frames per second. What are they doing, man? What are they? What are you doing over there, Rocksteady? What are you doing, Warner Brothers? I, I'm too sick for this shit. Get your shit together. <sighs> Love you guys. I'll speak with you again soon.